Hello people, I am Sky Demolisher and welcome back for another From the Collection Fridays. A series where I take things from my collection and show it to you, my viewers. And this week it is my Higher Toys Judge Dread from the 2000 AD comic books. Um, this is a very, very long delayed figure. Uh, I think I pre-ordered it like last year and that's when it was originally meant to come out and it certainly came out in other countries but not in New Zealand um, so I'm very grateful to Mighty Ape for getting it on because as far as I'm aware they're the only company in New Zealand that actually gets the higher toys figures um, I'll leave a link down below for him but uh, last I saw, um, there were only two of them left, so you might be extremely lucky to get it, um, if that is the case. So, I'll leave the camera zoomed in where it is, because I think that's, um, that's the best for where we start. Uh, he is an articulated figure, he's, um, basically meant to be in that sort of three and three quarter, um, scale you know three and three quarter inch scale i should say um he does come with changeable hands um let's see let's see the box i've got them in the box so if i zoom, zoom back out you can see the hands there um there are two of them they are alternate hands um i've swapped one of them from the original and um that was so that he could hold the baton uh, and then his other hand should in theory hold the pistol but I think it's one of the other fists that actually holds it um, now given the size of the figure the pins that actually hold the hands on which are um, ball joints are not particularly strong um, from my little fiddle around with them um, the hand should come off okay but when you go to stick the other one on um, it can take a lot of pressure to get it on there that could be enough to um, to break it so my advice is if you get it pick out what hands you want um, much like I've done here and basically leave them like that now you might need to bore the hole a little bit um, so what I did was used a pair of um, screwdrivers that you use to repair your glasses something like that it just makes the hole bigger for a small period of time just flexes it out so you can get it over that ball um, because it's a pin that goes to the end of a ball um, not the other way around so if they rebuilt it i would suggest that they should use um like a pin instead um like keep keep the ball inside the wrist but have it so that the hand has a pin that goes into the arm because uh, i think that kind of joint would work a lot better so we'll zoom in a little bit i don't know how how well this will show up he's a very blurry boy so he does have his um, you know classic judge helmet the badge um, now I think hold on I'll just count it one two three four five no I think if I it's been a long time when I cosplayed Judge Dredd to Armageddon one of the guys that drew Judge Dredd said that the chain has a certain amount of links and I think it was five this one appears to have five so it is actually correct um, if, if that's the case and I'm sure it is um, you know he's got the solid shoulder pauldron on one side and the um, you know eagle of justice on the other those nice green gloves with the um, the pouch so this is basically like the judge dread that I first um, found 
So I think when I first read a Judge Dredd comic, it was one on America. I think that's what it was called. Um, and it was like a 2000 AD magazine. And it was just this one Judge Dredd story. Um, and this is like exactly what he looked like coming out of the, um, you know, off, off the page. You got the shield on the helmet, of course, classic Judge Dredd thing. You cannot take the helmet off um, because you don't actually see Joe Dredd's face. Um, if I pan down, you can see he's got the boots. Camera's a bit loose. See, he's got the, the big solid boots and the big kneecaps. Now you can see that he has the boot gun um, and the boot holster. Um, and, you know, the ammo pouch thing around the waist with the judge insignia on the, um, on the thong. The buckle. Um, that is what the base looks like. So it's sort of a nice cursed earth one. Um, they did like Judge Death, Judge, I think it's Judge Death, Judge Fear, Judge Fire, and Judge Mortis, I think have all been done so far. Um, so you get the tiny little boot gun, and it truly is a tiny little boot gun, but it's really nicely painted. Um, and you know, you can put that in us his other hand if you want. I don't think that this is actually the hand that's made for it, but, you know, it fits. And it looks good. Um, now, articulation wise, whoops, dropped the gun. Um, he has forwards and backwards at the hip. There is a knee joint. There is articulation at the foot. And it goes same for both legs. Um, that's about how far out they can go. There is, um, you know, it's like that old G.I. Joe style butt. Um, so it sort of hits the, it hits the curve in that and that's what stops it. But you can see, like, you know, there's the moulding around the pants, around his lower back, everything. Um, he does have the full spin of the arm. Um, obviously because of the large armour it's restricted, um, full 360 rotation of the hands. There is, is an elbow joint kind of, it's like right here, but you really don't get much of a bend out of it, um, because of course his elbow pads get in the way, and that's the, the other pauldron. So, really really nice. There is, um, you know, rotation at that elbow as well though, so, you know, um, they've done quite a good job. Oh, that, that one's got a bit better, bit better bend to it, and that might just be a case of needing to spin it to a certain location and finding it um, to get it to, to sit in the right spot. Oh yeah, I see it there, there's the joint. So, bring that up. So, fairly nice pose and stuff. Um, the head does have a bit of neck movement. I realise it's a bit, a bit blurry on it. There is like neck movement, and then there is uh, like rotation for that. So you can get him to do the old exorcist thing if you really want. And he really does have that, you know, that heavy Judge Dredd scowl and stuff. So you know. Like, oh, and I should say, it's got a single pinhole in the foot, and the base has, like, the one little pin there. So it's basically set up to stand a specific way. Um, which I think suits it quite well. Uh, I'll just pick that gun up. So, yeah, just spin on that way. You can see the gun... Just slides into that little holster. It does have a little downward pressure that will hold it in a bit better. Um, all around though, such a cool figure. Um, so I'm like really, really pleased with this. It's so hard to get my, you know, like to get any kind of 2000 AD character as a toy. 
Um, so, you know, um, I think I covered my Mezco um, like 112 figure ages ago. That was the, like the first Judge Dread I ever saw with my own eyes, and this is like the second Judge Dread figure I've ever seen with my own eyes. So, you know, super rare, very hard to find in New Zealand. Um, I will say that for the card, um, I actually think, like, if I bring it all the way back there, I think it's cool as, like, you know, a, um, a visual thing, and you can see the, the details on the back, but, um, and as you would probably know, um, I do multiple videos in one go, so what's following is, um, Aliens vs Predator Requiem. I like these kind of boxes more. I think these work a lot better for figures, so it's like, I think it's really cool to have the badge style and have the box done in that badge style. But you can't keep the accessories together as well as you can in a box like those um, Aliens vs Predator Requiem ones. The same as as my other aliens, they came in boxes like that. Um, I think something like that would have been a lot cooler. But all around, I'm very, very pleased with this guy. Um, hopefully there is still one available for anyone that wants to get it. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.